Hi, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. I got a DM on Instagram asking me to do a tutorial on watermark. So with this video, I'm going to show you two different ways on creating watermark. Now let's get started. First, open CapCut with the video that you want to add watermark. The easiest way is to just use the text function. So click on text, add text, then type in whatever you want to use as your watermark. Then you can go to style, select the font style that you want. You can also select the color that you want. You can play around with it. You can also choose effect as well. However, with the effects text, you are not able to change the opacity. With the custom color one, you can change the opacity if you want. Then you can play around with the option on the bottom to see what you like. I'm going to adjust the opacity a little so it's not too bright. But it really depends on how you like it. You can also add animation to it if you want. Click on animation. If you are using watermark throughout your whole video, I would suggest to use the loop animation. Then select whichever animation that you would like to use. You can also adjust the speed. If you are happy with it, then make sure you adjust the text to align with the video. And then place it on where you want it to be on the video. So that's how you can use the text to create a watermark. Now let me show you another way to create watermark, which is to use PixArt. Open PixArt. Click on the plus icon. Then scroll all the way to the bottom. Click on the transparent background one. Then you can play around with it. I'm going to add in my own photo. Click on add photo. Adjust to how you like it. I'm not going to do anything with the bottom function here. So I'm just going to click on apply. You can also play around with other functions like sticker or brushes. I'm going to use the draw. I like to draw on a different layer than the photo. So usually I would click on here to make sure I'm on a new layer. This way, if I mess up, I can just erase it. Then I'm going to select a brush that I want to use. Click on it. Then you can adjust the size and play around with the other function. Click on color to select the color that you like. Then you can draw whatever you want. If you don't like it, you can click on undo. Once you are happy with it, you can click on here to save image. You can also change the opacity before you save it. So you can go to the layer. What you can do is to click on this icon here. Then click on merge. So everything will be on one layer. Then adjust the opacity. I like to have the opacity a little bit lower, so maybe to like 75. After I finish, then click on here, click on this icon again, then click on save image. Let's go back to CapCut. You can add in the watermark as a overlay. However, with this option, you are not able to add a loop animation, but you can adjust the opacity of it if you want to adjust more. If you want to add the loop animation, then you want to click on stickers, go to the picture icon, select the watermark, adjust the size, move it to wherever you want. And make sure it align with the entire video. Click on it. Then click on animation. Loop. Then select whatever animation you want to use. However, with this option, you are not able to adjust the opacity. 
So if you need to adjust the opacity, just do it in Pixar beforehand. So that's how you can create watermark for your video. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider like, subscribe, and comment down below. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.